Hey there, friends. Got a TTG reaction for you with baby hands. Oh, dang. They eating them burgers and burritos? You and your baby hands oh. are gonna have to wait. Wait, I'm are they that small? And I'm having a mandatory burrito, baby hands. Dang. So I gotta say... So are they calling him baby hands? Are his hands really that small? Because they look normal to me. When you compare them to Beast Boy's hands, yeah, they look like the same size, right? But by the way, that burger Cyborg has looks so good. I want that boy girl right now. Give me that boy girl. And I don't have baby hands. Oh, someone's getting a bit self-conscious. Oh. Breaking through all the windows! Please, what is the meaning of this mandatory word? <laughs> nice try. I know you understand our language. Dang, yeah, I mean, yeah, remember, Starfire did learn a bit more from Raven with that song. Don't say what you mean, but mean what you say. Starfire learned a lot. She can't lie anymore. Wink. Baby hands. Oh! I heard that. Not the, not everybody calling him baby. Oh! <laughs> mandatory meeting in three, two, one. Woo! No Just one made it. Whoa! So Hold on a second. Wait, isn't that yeah what Beast Boy was wearing? Wasn't that what he wore as, you know, Beast Bob during that Red X episode? But Starfire with the long hair. She got that 80s looking hair right there. Uh, I should have taught them to respect me when they were still fresh and impressionable. But what? Okay. Cyborg though? Raven though? Raven was smiling? Everybody got that drip going on though. Please tell me, are these their old looks? Like, were these looks from the comics or something? Because... These look great. Back then, Raven was actually happy to be here. Do I get she looks adorable. And Starfire was fresh off the spaceship. She oh. didn't understand the language. Clorthog! And Beast Boy and Cyborg were still too shy to gang up on me. They weren't even friends yet. Oh. Those were the days. Yeah, everybody looks so cool, but I wonder how did how did Robin get Starfire's attention to join the Teen Titans though? If Starfire didn't learn the language, I wonder how she learned. Did Robin try to teach her with, you know, passion, love, a little too much, a little too much uh, closeness? I don't know. But yeah, everybody looked different. Raven is so adorable, though. She is still adorable, but like back then, wow, that's a huge difference. If only I could go back. Well, too bad there was that. Hands. There was the time machine. <laughs> I do not have baby hands. But the thing is, remember that time machine that Robin used to become the best president in the United States? <laughs> Imagine they brought that back, and Robin's like, "Wait, I can." He brings back the old Teen Titans to go against the current Teen Titans, and they go against each other. I mean, that sounds like a great idea, right? Oh, Brother Blood is back! Oh, they dipped. Aww. Once again, no one's listening to him. But hold on! Brother Blood is actually doing damage already! He's actually winning against the city already. He's just sitting there. We got no snipers to take him out or anything. Did he blast him away? <laughs> Anybody can just take him out. <laughs> Not the pizza place. The Titans have stopped you before, Zap him. Brother Blood, and we will stop pew, pew, pew. Of course you will. How could any villain stand against such a formidable team? Formidable? Are you making fun? Why would I make fun of the most amazing superhero team of all time? Ah, oh, he's being a bit sarcastic. All right, Starfire, time to learn about sarcasm. You learned about lying, about saying what you mean and mean what you say. Now time to learn about sarcastic requips. Yep, 
definitely making fun of us. Sarcastic remarks. I say you're a well-oiled crime-fighting machine. He does have a point. We could work together better. This huh. is exactly why we need those mandatory meetings. I'm Brother sure Blood should be the new leader then. I came up with my latest plan. Oh. This not the dance. Not the no, not erasing the season two dance already. I love to prove his point. We have to go back to the intro to see what he meant and mean what he said. You know, but ah, so wiping memory. Oh, wait a second, wiping memory. I think this is what Robin wants. You know, like that episode with Mad Mod where Raven's like, "No, don't turn him old." Robin's gonna be like, no, don't wipe their memory. Oh, wait, do it, do it, wipe their memories now. No one to stop me. Jump city by mine. <laughs> it's already working. You can just blast them right now. What? Oh. Holy heck, the staff did that? Oh boy. So this is going to be Robix. Rob, Robix? Did I say Rob? <laughs> I think I'm forgetting already, too. I think the blast also hit me, but this is Robin's perfect scenario. Just like the Mad Mod situation, now he's got a team with no memory. Who are you? Where am I? Have I eaten today? Lorb's Gloves and modifery, watch your mouth, Starfire. Watch your profanity. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So you do have baby hands, and also what's with that price is right thing? The whole wheel, the prize behind the door. No memories means I get to say what I want. I get to redo everything. No one will make fun of me. I'll make the perfect team. You Glorf Smafra. This is the best evil plan ever! <laughs> Dude, that's not exactly what I was going for. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much! <laughs> <laughs> the kissing oh, animation! Oh, <laughs> 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 wow. Finally, a fresh start. <laughs> this time, I'll make such a great first impression that they'll have to respect me. Team Titans' first mandatory meeting starts... I, did, I, did. I didn't say now. The now! I love how the camera tried to move. So I, I love that fourth wall break where the camera moved, but he's like, da, 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 da. nope, get that camera back on my face. Meeting doesn't start until now. But I wonder how this is going to go wrong. Robin's going to make the perfect team, right? So how is his perfect team going to go wrong? Uh, what's going on, bro? Who was tall? This large letter shaped building. I don't like this. <laughs> How Come did you get in here? Don't panic. You're just a little confused <laughs> because all your memories were erased. What did they? My name is Robin. Were they moved there and by force? Your leader. All I ask is for your unconditional respect and admiration, and we will get through this. I mean, the thing is, Robin could be a bit creepy with this and say, Starfire, you are my girlfriend. And I love you. Oh, oh my goodness, if Robin does that, that's really creepy. The one thing you do, that better not be his first priority if he does something like that, though. It's like, okay, he can make the perfect team, but if he tries to make his, if he tries to make a girlfriend of a girl whose memory got wiped, that is messed up. Okay, Aww. first order of business. The way they sat down. What do you guys think of my hands? They're fine. They look good to me. See, normal. Mm -hmm. Corva. Cool. Oh. <laughs> the rain may have affected your memory, but your minds are as sharp what as What was ever. that? Blur -nack -grev -nack. Why is the orange girl talking all funny? <laughs> the orange. <laughs> boy. I don't think you should be saying stuff like that, though. You're green. You're green. She's orange. That's like her saying, what's the green guy talking about? <laughs> Insane, though. She has forgotten our language and reverted back to her native tongue. Glorba Flignorf? Well, what's she saying then? She's speaking oh, she's in sim- She's just flirting with me. Oh, no, no. Where to start? No, she is not. You better stop. Why are you the leader? Because I'm the strongest. I've got all sorts of powers. 
In fact, I single-handedly formed the Teen Titans. Yes. Really? I don't remember that. I think that's his point right there. So, wait. So how were the Teen Titans formed? Was it like Robin got that got everybody or did everybody come together and say, hey, let's form the Teen Titans? I, I'm really curious how literally you got the, the Azeroth Metrium Demon, you got a cyborg, alien from space, a transforming, hu a transforming guy, and Robin. How they get all, I, I wonder how they all got together. Like, what's the origin, you know? That's because your memory was erased, Beast Boy. Hmm, I don't remember that either. Listen up. Once Do you remember I anything? Far away, but also right here. I built this great oh. T-shaped tower with my super powerful robots. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he was also naked, remember? That's his body, that's his birthday suit right there. You just saw a nude man in the street and decided to give him your suit, right? I let him borrow my suit so he can yeah. me. Oh, so he can stop being naked. You, Beast Boy, <laughs> I found you abandoned on the top of Mount Everest, and I fed you like a baby bird. Oh, uh, you were big and strong. Gross. So that's how <laughs> I got so big and strong. Well, what about me? It didn't work, Beast Boy. You're tiny and weak. Look at you. I don't think all that I don't think all that worm feeding worked right there. I mean, it could it makes sense because you know Robin, like the bird, can feed their young, and Robin could have done that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to imagine that though. Ah yes, Raven. Back then you were uh, just a little purple blanket. <laughs> I used I used to be a blanket, and now I'm a real girl. Thanks, Robin. And finally, Starfire. She's my girlfriend, so, you know, kind of had to let her be on the team. Wow. Oh, I'm scared to talk yeah, I'm pretty sure she doesn't. She, I'm sure she understands what you mean, and she disagrees, but that has to be my favorite fake origin story. Raven is a blanket. <laughs> I can't say that line without being serious. <laughs> She's a blanket. <laughs> oh my goodness, can that be her story now? She was just a blanket who was brought to life using magical powers. She's Pinocchio, but what a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, so, that's so sweet. Uh, she was telling me how handsome I look. Uh, yes. Oh my goodness. I want to say how much I'm enjoying this mandatory meeting. Teach us more, leader! Yeah, this rocks. <laughs> uh, you flatter me. Oh um, boy. Ah, Starfire, did you know that Tamaranians can learn any language through lip contact? No, 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 no! Robin, really? Now you're... Okay, that is taking advantage of someone who lost their memories. But knowing Starfire, I'm pretty sure she would not allow that. She does not know about... Since she just got to Earth, I'm pretty sure she doesn't know about how humans show love for each other. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 thank you, thank you. Thank you, please. That was weird. Wow. You used to just call me King to save time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. King, I was hoping you could regale us with some more tales of your awesomeness. Wow. He became King. Robin is taking it way too far. It's like. You could make the perfect team, but right now, all you're doing is just being a king. You're not teaching them how to fight or anything. Also, Raven is smiling a lot. Apparently, all the memories since joining the Teen Titans has really, like, changed her mood or something like that. But right now, she's happy. No dark spells, no Azeroth, Metreon, Zinthos, none of that stuff. More? Oh, I've been telling you about my awesomeness all day. Oh, Please? tell me more. That's so cool. And then we can have a mandatory meeting afterwards. Because that's all they know. Okay, okay. That's all they know. So nicely. 
One dark day in the not so distant past, an evil supervillain named Brother Blood captured you guys and locked you in an inescapable cage hanging over a volcano on the moon. Huh. Why does that why does that look like it could be an episode though where the Teen Titans go to the moon and then they're trapped there forever though? I do like the background just being drawn like it's just a bunch of like drawn stars, you know, with like the ding ding ding, like the five point star. The asterisk star, all that stuff right there. I do like it when the show changes up art styles a lot. It's it's really creative. Whoa. That's incredible. Yes. I had to use And then Eggman used blew it up. Then I blasted Brother Blood into oblivion with my heat vision eyes. Okay, Superman, whatever you say. That was intense. Whoa, thought waves. How is it that Robin, like, seriously, that version of Robin sounds cool, but the Robin we got right now just turns out to be a complete opposite who right now isn't trying, like, it, it's, it's like, I feel like if this were a serious thing, Robin would be doing his best to regain their memories and whatnot. But the reason why he did all of this is because. He doesn't want everyone to call him baby hands. And I gotta say, his hands don't look that small. Raven's hands are smaller than his. Can we have that mandatory meeting now? Oh. Uh oh. The mandatory meeting is going to have to wait. Oh. <laughs> <Brother Blood. laughs> like, City who City wants a mandatory meeting anyway? Who wants that? Dang, it blew up. Uh. He's got it all in the shopping... Okay. <laughs> I love he's got all the stuff in the shopping cart. Brother Blood does not care. I freaking love you, man. I freaking love Brother Blood. And I just love that gigantic, like, that comically large bomb right there. All these missiles, but just one big bomb. Big boom. Hello, Brother Blood. This time you're going down for good. Titan no way! Yep. We want to see you fight Great Leader. Oh! Use your awesome heat vision to obliterate him. Uh, His right lies went way to too far. Oh, oh, oh! What are you waiting for, what King? What the heck? Some magic or something. I heard that. I heard that gun cock right there. Wow, Brother Blood is having a blast right now. Literally, he's just pulling out a random gun, and he's like, "Oh, that's what that does. This is what this does." Ooh, having a, he's having like a freaking he's he's like a kid in the candy store right now. <laughs> he's still digging. Uh, it's just you and me now, Star. This ain't the <laughs> it ain't the time to hit on her. To hug me now, Robin. Yes, I will love. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is my fault. You, yeah. you're a great leader. Sure. Uh -uh. The uh. <clears throat> The stories I told you, I made them up. Oh, <gasps> you mean you? Okay, we already knew you lied. I know. I just can't play it anymore. I don't know. This just isn't a very good Robin episode because literally he took advantage of his whole team when they lost their memories. And instead of being a great leader and helping them, which in return would make them respect him more, he just took advantage of everything. Yeesh! I just wanted you to respect me. Here's the truth. Cyborg, I never gave you your awesome robot body. No! And Beast Boy, I never raised you from a wee chick. It can't be true. You fed worms in my mouth. Never a blanket. I don't believe it. I want to believe it. Starfire's never been my girlfriend. <laughs> but there's one thing that might trigger your memories. Oh my goodness, just the look she has. She just knew this entire time, like, like, bruh, like, please, like, shut up. I already know. Glorp nop, shush lop, shush lop, blah, 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 blah. But, wow. Who would have thought? I really wish that Raven was a blanket that just came to life. I really want that to be the story, please. Take a cold, hard look at my hands. Yeah? Oh. Uh, oh. Are you kidding me? Yes, I am your leader, and I have uh, baby hands. Oh, they're oh, they got.
gotta put the real oh that's so weird they got the they got that photoshopped real baby arms right there oh that that is so weird Raven. Starfire. that is Restored. all it took right there ew 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 I don't like this. Ew. Titans, go. Get those away, please. Put those. The thing is, I, I'm pretty sure we all saw it. The gorilla. Okay. Oh, ew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Team Titans are back and better than ever. So I guess that means you're going to stop listening to me again. Hey, we may not listen to you sometimes. Or respect you. And sure, we like making fun of you. But there is no but. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're kidding me. That's how the end of the episode. <laughs> you're telling me that's not the end of the episode? No, no, they did not. No, they did not. Oh my goodness. They did not just end it like that. I mean, in a way, Robert did deserve it, but you're, you gotta be kidding me. That's how they end it. We, there was no mud. The baby hands, that's it. We don't respect you. We. That's it. That's it. 